Right, left, right, left. Uh, up, down, up, down. Okay, cool. No! What did I just do? Okay, I'm still in, uh, switch mode. <laughs> wow, I, I... We're just gonna, we're just gonna try that again. <laughs> I get to do that all over again. Hey viewers, this is Gore Class 2, and welcome to another episode of Battle for Bikini Bottom. This will probably be the last episode I'll be filming for a while, because I'm going to be, um leaving for college uh, data this week so and and i really shouldn't even be doing this right now because i have more important things to do but uh i've been kind of stuck in around so i decided why not just bust this out film this uh i actually had another splatoon 2 video but like something happened with the recording and so i decided to better just scrap it i'm probably not gonna continue doing much of that since Splatoon 2 is kind of like <laughs> done now like i literally put phone stuff during the final splatfest but Oh well, it's fine. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, mermaid man, you're like a big heroic prune. Prunes? What? Where? Oh jeez. Um, I guess we gotta. I don't really remember what I was doing last time I was here, but I guess we gotta go down here. I really don't remember where I should be going. I feel like- I know I've already done this. Am I just going the wrong- Oh, maybe he just started me back there cause, um... Cause that's where I last saved or something, cause... I don't need to be- Okay! Oh. Okay. Okay, I can go on, so I'm just gonna- I'm not gonna fight them again, I don't have to. This is a perfect. Yeah. Um I need this. This is the gimmick for Patrick, at least for now. I guess we're just gonna be throwing uh Yes I know. Uh Oops. <laughs> I'm basically just gonna be throwing stuff. Yes, I know. That's how you change characters. Fun fact, the other half of the bus isn't actually modeled. Uh, it's just not there. I don't really need the switch right now, so I'm not going to. Oh yeah, one thing I hate about this, you can't jump while holding the... Whenever you're holding something. It's just really inconvenient. Thunder Tiki. I always thought it looked funny with its little nose and stuff. Oh man. There is actually. The original version of this Tiki looks so different. Like, I. It just. It looks uglier. And I didn't think that was possible. I don't need to go off on that. <laughs> I love these guys. The NPCs, I could just mess with them. They have the cool little animation. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday. And now my neck hurts. Me too, Patrick. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh man, I forgot about that. That one, that one's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can do no that. Uh. Okay, so like, I was considering taking my PlayStation Two with me to college. At the same time, I was like, I'm not, I'm never gonna use it. Like, I never touch it now. And so, just taking it would be a bad idea. Like, I'm bringing my Switch. I I'm just bringing my Switch. By the time. <laughs> 
by the time school starts, I will be able to buy a copy of Fire Emblem Free Houses, and I was thinking about playing, filming a blind playthrough. I think that would be really cool, but, like, I'm not sure if I'd have the time to, like, sit down and play it that same way, like, re record it every time. So, I don't know. I might... I, I, I don't know what my plans... I don't know how much free time I will have. Like, I honestly have no clue. Like, I have an idea. Like, I have my schedule. I'm not really... Oh, jeez, I need to... That was terrible. <laughs> like, I have an idea of, like, what my schedule looks like. I know all my classes are, what times they're at. But I don't know how much homework I'll have and all that junk, so... I just... Can you not do that in the- he get hit in the air, I just realized that. So, I don't- I don't know, like, I don't know how often- I already don't post videos that often now. Even the ones I do post. <laughs> Unless they're ones that, like, aren't as serious, they don't get as much attention. So, I don't- I don't really know how that's gonna look. Like, I might just end up only- oh, I mean- I do ha I still still- I still have that special- music video thing in the work. well I say music video, uh, in the works, but I can't even do that until I can get some actual instruments to record them on, so it's just a bunch of logistical stuff, and I don't really know what's- did anyone else see that? What did that get stuck on? <laughs> okay then, um, that was hilarious. So yeah, the the channel for the next few months is kind of going to be up in the air. Uh, I really don't... <laughs> well, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure when exactly I'll have time to do stuff, but like... When I have time to make a video, I'll let you know. The next one I plan on making after this will be the... Music one, so... I'm not sure which one, if this one, this video will be uh, uploaded before or after that. It really just depends. So we'll see. Either way, I'm still I'm, I'm excited for what's. Wow. Okay. I'm excited for what's gonna come because I'm about to jump into a bunch of new stuff that I've never been able to experience before. So it's so dark in this thing. I cannot see where the walls are. Time to get a sock. Oh, I need to get that, uh, I need to get that box for forget. This is goo. Back here, it cannot swim in goo. That's not what I was about to say, but. Ah, oh, satisfying. Bonk. <laughs> yep, you heard that right. I can stun robots. Wonderful. Wonderful! Amazing! That's great. Um, <laughs> that was extremely obnoxious. I should have hit it and then got the spatula. Just to see if I would have gotten any hit damage or whatever. No. Cool, goodbye. Oh, I thought I could go walk right past it. It's not even scary, it's just dark. Alright, well, on to the next section. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Spork Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. 
Right, uh, back to complaining about the vo the voice acting. Uh, Mr. Krabs isn't the same voice actor either, so it's not as bad as Mermaid Man because it still kind of sounds Mr. Krabsy, but still, it's just ugh. Oh no. Cue the new voice line that SpongeBob will say every single time he comes near one of these guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it whenever they get close to a robot and they freak out like that. It's so funny. Just the sound off. Everything on this game is just so, so great. And this, uh, I love this guy. I love this guy after we beat him. <laughs> oh man, okay. Um. Yeah, he better not be sleeping on this game. Oh, I need to switch to Spongebob so that I, um, she can stop yelling at Patrick and yell at Spongebob. You'll see what I mean in a second. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Oh, I forgot this is Patrick's thing. I know if she says something that she has something that she says to SpongeBob that's different. Um, I still don't remember what it is. And you're done. Oh my! Pick him up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Ouch! Always one step behind. Oh, jeez. Clearly, I don't care about getting hurt, cause like, there's not much of a enough of a penalty for me to be worried about it. I feel like that used to be harder for me as a kid. I can't tell you how many times I've fallen into the goo while trying to get this golden spatula. It really shouldn't be that hard, but somehow it ends up being that hard anyway. Alright, now that's over. Set on out. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. Did I get a cookie? No. no. <laughs> I love how she just says that straight up like, no. Yes, I need to start off for this. Because of the, the stickies or whatever they're called. Now we got we got something, Miss Puff. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. A little bit of foreshadowing there. Uh, later on in the game, uh, yes, I should just keep, um, so funny. Uh, later on in the game, there is a level where you, where it's literally just everyone's dreams, and I think it's really cool because it's literally takes it from, it takes inspiration from the cartoon, and like you can see it, and like, you know, um, uh. uh Trying to fix Sandy's dream, where it's like Western and stuff. And I mean, not Western, but like she's falling from the sky. If I'm correct? I didn't destroy those tiki's at all. Um, it's gonna bother me. And like Patrick's dream, how it's basically just nothing. It's hilarious. Ouch! Um, get away from me! Uh,. Squidward's dream. That one is really difficult. I mean, they're all kind of difficult, but just getting to the dreams is difficult. But like, <laughs> this game definitely, definitely gets harder later on. Um, but I don't even want to think about that yet because it's just oh, it'll get real. This game's gonna get really frustrating. The farther uh, once we get far enough in. Uh, what? Well, uh, are you kidding me? I wasn't gonna make that jump anyway. I'm just a little upset. Ooh. Oh, the sauce. Oh, get it. Oh. I just want to get to a nice stopping point. Uh, I love this guy. Look at him. Look at him. 
<laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> I just want to get to a good stopping point. Uh, before I end this. Because I, I, I don't like the gate. I don't like the episodes getting too much above 20 minutes. Oh, uh, yeah, because the whole I need that. I never ever. I never even remember to come back to these places l later on. Like, I just. Finished the game and I'm like, hey, I'm done. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Ah. What? That hurt me? Oh my gosh. You know what the scariest, um, robot to, like, happen upon is? Like, that one... Thanks for that. Uh... The one from Walk Bottom, where you can only approach it by sneaking up on it, or as will wake up and, like, scare the poop out of you and then blast you with its laser eyes or whatever. It's freaky. What? Oh, hello! Hello! Londonator. <laughs> no yes, government, take all of my money. Okay, I'm, looks like I'm probably just gonna end up saving before the King Jellyfish fight. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I kind of want to do that in the, this episode. We'll see. I'm not sure who would even like watch that far. Honestly, the, the King Jellyfish fight is like nothing <laughs> compared to like stuff in the future. Like, the boss- I feel like none of the boss fights, except for maybe like the very last one, are literally like that difficult. I need to get that sock. No, let me forget. This girl over here. I'm not gonna fuss bugging every little robot. Did I miss one? Over there. The music just skipped. I don't know how. Oh, <laughs> it's right there. Oh boy, and I fell. That's a tight. That's a tight spot right there. It's a tight squeeze, if you know what I mean. I don't remember. I don't even remember the name of the composer for that one. Just remember how to back and crack and it was, it was something. There it is. Where do I go? I literally cannot tell which place to jump to. Okay, here we go. And we're back. Oh my gosh, why? Oh! Should not have fallen there. Every time I go over there, I'm afraid of falling. I jump like that. No, we're not going that way. I don't want to fall. Cool, you keep spawning those robots and not destroying you for a third time. <laughs> not! There we go. How do I get to that swamp over there? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I remember the spot now. Okay. Pretty straightforward. It's really easy to just come here and collect the stuff and leave, but gotta get the sock. I don't think I actually ever discovered the location of every sock. Just the ones that I have discovered I seem to remember really well, especially in the beginning part anyway. Um I played this part so much so many more times than like the later parts because they're harder and more tedious. It's just, it just gets annoying. Kind of similar to like how in Crash games, how like the game, just how like the game plays, it can be really easy to like fall or lose a life at the same spot for the same reason. Kind of like that, only it takes a lot more work to get there here. Well, I mean, it's more so for the later Crash games, for the earlier one, like, like the end same trilogy. Those are, those are difficult. But they're still fun. I've never actually finished it myself. I'm not good enough. I am SpongeBob. Wall jumping! Yay! 
Tadam 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 It always bothers me that it never actually like completely aligns with the spots. Like, it's it's a little too much to get him to do that. Hello, golden spatula. Crap, I was there. All right, that might be a nice place to stop. Uh, yeah, because this is the king jellyfish. Okay, well. I'm gonna get away from that water so it's not as noisy. Um, Alright, well, in the next episode, we will tackle the king jellyfish and, you know, so finally wrap up jellyfish fields. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.